So in this video, I want to share with you information from this press release from Salesforce co-founder Mark Benioff, and it's entitled Our Latest Efforts to Help Those Affected. I am going to be sharing a lot of resources in this video to help spread information around the rapidly spreading coronavirus and to highlight how Salesforce is gathering their resources to help fight the spread of the coronavirus. So in this article, Mark Benioff shares what Salesforce is doing to help empower healthcare professionals as well as remote work teams because of the spread of the coronavirus. Many companies are now resorting to remote or telework. So for each of these resources that I share in this video, look for the links down below the video. And I encourage you to read this article in full. I just want to show some highlights. They mention several donations that they're giving as far as charitable foundations and the CDC's uh, Foundation Emergency Response Fund as well as other organizations that they support. But then where I really want to highlight are some tools and resources software related that Salesforce is providing. This first mention is regarding the health cloud. Salesforce will provide free access to technology for emergency response teams, call centers and care management teams for health systems affected by the coronavirus. So the health cloud is coming into play and they're making technology available to those emergency response personnel, which is great. And the second is mentioned Tableau, and they've developed a free data resource hub to help organizations see and understand coronavirus data in near real time. So I wanted to show you that as well. That's what this looks like as far as the link will take you to this other article. Once again, I will link to this down below. And this is the COVID-19 Coronavirus Data Resource Hub. It's an article. There's links here, and you can see the JHU coronavirus data stream and there's a note here as well that there's some issue with the U.S. cases being overstated by uh, 500 currently and they're looking to resolve that issue so there may be a few bugs in the numbers but this particular set of data or this COVID-19 cases starter dashboard is something that you can dive into to dive into the numbers by country Numbers on confirmed, recovered, I'm refreshing my screen because I do have my display really large and so some of the displays are a little out of whack because of just trying to make this visible for the recording. You can hover over the graphs and get more detail or over the different regions on the map and get more information as far as confirmed cases, recovered, deaths, and active. And then as well, another thing that's interesting is just seeing this curve here and you're seeing some talk about flattening the curve, trying to prevent the overrun to our healthcare systems. And so if everyone can do their part to help flatten that curve as far as there not being a huge spike in cases, our respective healthcare providers won't uh, become overwhelmed and we'll be able to take care of those that are the sickest among us. Mark Benioff mentions that Quip Starter will be available for free to any Salesforce customer or nonprofit organization through September 30th of 2020. That is in order to help teams collaborate while employees are away from the office. So for those that are required to work remotely, Quip is a great tool provided by Salesforce that enables collaboration. And so there's a lot of helpful resources there as well. I wanted to highlight a couple of things. One is the Quip education homepage. There's a lot of great st getting started tutorials. I'm all about education and tutorials. So when I saw this, I wanted to be sure and spread the word about how you can get, get started learning Quip as well as this link here for where you can sign up for your own free Quip account as well. So this is a great opportunity for you to empower your teams to collaborate while they're working remotely. So these are Salesforce's latest efforts in helping to provide help where help is needed. And kudos to Mark Benioff for his efforts in garnering the resources that are available to him and the Salesforce organization. And so once again, best wishes to everyone out there in the Ohana and stay safe.